is absolutely great. In fact, the stadium actually rocks. <laughs> I've never seen a school that has more spirit than we do. It's a wonderful place to come in and hear 2001 being played. There's no rush that I've ever had or ever experienced in any place in my life and running out on the field here at Williams Bryce. It's just glorifying, it's exhilarating. You get out there and you just got to love it. This is Gamecock football. 72,000 cheering fans packed into Williams Bryce Stadium. It's like no other event in college football. When the fighting Gamecocks of the University of South Carolina take the field, something wild is bound to happen. And for the young men who wear the garnet and black, the thrill is awesome. They come to South Carolina to test their skills against the best. The Gamecocks' 1987 schedule was ranked the third toughest in the nation, including games with national champion Miami, Nebraska, LSU, Georgia, and Clemson. Under head coach Joe Morrison, two-time coach of the year, the Gamecocks are poised to take their place among the elite of college football. Hi, I'm Pat Summerall, and this is the University of South Carolina, Gamecock football. At the University of South Carolina, everyone is behind the football program. The administration, the student body, the faculty, and the alumni. But the focus is head coach Joe Morrison. Coach Morrison is a player's coach with a simple philosophy. We've always had, I guess, three words that we've operated by, and that's uh, open, fair, and honest. And if we point out to them at the beginning of the year uh, what we expect from them, and if they do what they are supposed to do, then we're not going to have any problems. Coach Morrison for the past five years has been that with me and I'm sure with all the other players that he don't beat around the bush and if you got a question that you really want an answer to, he's the man to go to and give you a straight open answer and, and be honest and open with you. He'll tell you if you mess up, but he's the kind of guy I know that if you need him, he'll be there for you. Joe Morrison has spent most of his life in the world of football. He was a 14-year standout in the NFL and received MVP and Sportsman of the Year honors in 1972. When he left the pro ranks, the New York Giants retired his number 40 jersey. For the last 15 years, he has applied his experience and knowledge of the game as a major college head coach. Since taking the reins of the South Carolina program in 1983, Coach Morrison has brought the Gamecocks to the brink of greatness. It is a great challenge to us, and we take a great deal of interest in each one of our young men, and uh, not only what they're doing on the football field, but uh, what they're doing off the field as well, and uh, we feel that it's beneficial to us and uh, helps us, but by the same token, we hope that it's beneficial to them. The Gamecocks play their heart out for this man. They respect him, and he truly cares for each one of them. He's straight out with you. He comes to talk to you. When I came to my official visit, he, he ate dinner with me a couple of times. He came to visit my house. A wonderful person. He's um, very considerate, kind. He understands, you know, when you make a mistake. Coach Morrison's a good guy. He works real hard with us. He's a great coach. You know, if you have any problems, you can talk to him. and He'll listen to you, and he's there for you. I, I like Coach Morrison a lot. Hard work and determination are what Joe Morrison is all about. He inspires each of his players to be the best that they can be. Under coach Joe Morrison, the Gamecock offense is exciting to watch. He has devised his own unique style. It is wide open and explosive. We call our offense to run and shoot, and uh, we're going to throw the football, and hopefully we're going to catch the football. 
and uh, that's going to be about 80 percent of our offense. Really what it counts on is an exciting offense that makes it uh, kind of a trigger offense that can explode at any time depending on what the defense gives you. So uh, on any play, any given uh, person on the offensive unit can make the big difference. With this kind of action, it's no wonder the fans love their Gamecocks. Big universities like Carolina don't come together very often with the multiple constituencies that we represent. Alumni, students, athletic supporters out there who contribute to substantially to the activity of the university, uh, the faculty. Uh, all the dimensions of the university seem to coalesce at that one time. And seven times this fall, we will uh, celebrate that occasion with the uh, home football games and that's tremendously important because it it's a focus on uh, the kind of things that can happen in a great university it's a binding together kind of feeling that doesn't happen very often in a big place like this it's almost a small city 26,000 people you need moments like that to bring it together and say this is what Carolina is all about and the crowds here are fantastic and they and they love the place you know 15,000 students uh, 60,000 other people who turn out just to see Carolina play football is a tremendous, I think, indication of the interest and support that we feel. Thousands pack the stadium for every game. Millions more follow South Carolina on national television. Pro and Bowl Scouts always have an eye on South Carolina. At South Carolina, the reward for a successful season is a trip to a bowl game and all the fun and excitement that goes along with it. Under Coach Joe Morrison, the Gamecocks have been to two Gator Bowls. Here, the Gamecocks visit the USS Forest All Aircraft Carrier on a recent Gator Bowl trip to Jacksonville, Florida. Many talented South Carolina players have gone on to the NFL. The most well-known Gamecock to go pro was 1980 Heisman Trophy winner George Rogers. The home of the Gamecocks is the spacious williams Bryce Stadium. It is one of the nation's most attractive and well-designed college football complexes. With a capacity of 72,400, this place rocks with the mayhem that is Gamecock football. The expansive Gamecock practice facility is one of the finest in the land, conveniently located adjacent to the student-athlete living quarters. Ultra-modern meeting rooms are located within the stadium complex. Gamecock student-athletes all live together here in the roost. Construction is underway for a new $5 million student-athlete living complex. Athletes here enjoy home-cooked meals in a relaxed, congenial atmosphere. And of course, it's always all you can eat. Mealtime also provides the opportunity to enjoy the friendship and camaraderie that make for team unity. When are you going to start using whole wheat bread? <laughs> this is the Carolina Iron Works. Under the direction of Keith Kephart, former National Strength Coach of the Year, this state-of-the-art training and conditioning center allows every athlete the opportunity to be the best that he can be. 
Yeah. We train with the principle of total body strength or total body balance. In other words, you're as strong as your weakest point. So we have it, the type of equipment here. We can train virtually anything and everything in the anatomy to where hopefully we eliminate all those weak spots. It's our job, our goal to teach, to see what levels they can reach through teaching, motivating, correcting, evaluating their work ethic, their nutrition, their rest habits, and seeing what levels they can get to. With added strength comes domination, especially for the Gamecock defense. It's a very aggressive, attacking uh, style of defense and a uh, very exciting style of defense, and we hope that it uh, can create some uh, turnovers from our opponents where we're able to capitalize and get some points on the board. The 1987 Gamecocks were one of only three teams to rank among the top ten nationally in all four defensive categories. Gamecock defense, tough, aggressive, and dominant. The student athletes at the University of South Carolina have the opportunity to play big time football. But more importantly, they receive an excellent education. The university offers 64 degree programs of study, something to suit every interest. Winning in the classroom and achieving a degree is the primary goal of the football program. We feel now that within the last two years, the emphasis has moved from tutorial programs to now of career development. I know recently with the addition of Dr. Reed Montgomery, as well as Dr. Jerry Fitch uh, in our academic support services, we feel now that an athlete coming to the University of South Carolina will be exposed to two very fine uh, academic people that are proven products in their own field. And I think that their experience and, and the information and the expertise that they possess will, will be a tremendous benefit to all athletes at Carolina. Well, Coach Morrison wants your son to be a college graduate. He is very supportive of academics, and he wants the finest education possible for his uh, student athletes. We want to be successful on the football field in terms of uh, winning games and having a competitive football program. But by the same token, we want to win in the classroom and we want our young men to be able to take their place in the job market and be competitive when they graduate. The faculty of the University of South Carolina is over 1,500, with more than 75% holding doctorates. The facilities here are excellent for the student athlete. The pressure of playing football and keeping up with the studies can be a special challenge. Therefore, South Carolina offers an academic support service to aid the athlete in obtaining his degree. The Academic Support Service Office at South Carolina is on hand to monitor the academic progress of each student athlete as he pursues his college degree. They have good study hall programs, they'll help you with tutors, they help you in any way they can. We have a number of our former athletes that's now involved uh, uh, in the community. They've stayed in South Carolina and they've done quite well. The freshman team that I came to school with here are some of the people that I do business with now. Uh, I, I look over the guys, Tommy Suggs at South Carolina Federal, he was our quarterback. He is, he is vice president in charge of operations there. Jim Nash, CNS Bank. He was one of our defensive backs. He's vice president in charge of operations there. Tyler Hellams, SCN. I mean, it just goes on and on. The University of South Carolina is situated on 242 acres in the beautiful city of Columbia. The university has grown over the years to a system of nine campuses located throughout the state. Columbia is the center with its original buildings fully restored to 19th century elegance, plus the addition of many modern facilities. Located in the heart of South Carolina, Columbia is a city that combines all the grace of the rich past with the vibrance of the future. Columbia indeed has a lot to offer. Personally, I think it's a fabulous place to attend. 
It's a great place to be. No matter how far you're away from home, you can always make friends and, you know, learn new things. Beach is about three and a half hours away. And so you can road trip, you just get the urge, all of a sudden you want to go to the beach, just go to the beach. It's great. They like the mountains, they like the fishing, uh, the kind of recreational type of life that uh, our environment has to offer. The University of South Carolina is a great place to learn, to grow, and to play football. The Gamecock coaching staff is extremely knowledgeable in all aspects of the game. Quickly! Quickly, move it around! They push each player to reach his full potential. Players grow and improve to reach higher and higher levels of performance. Rock back and forth, pick up high, up high, rock back and forth. Hit! Move! Hit! Get up front! Get up front! They're tough on you, but you need that toughness, that mental toughness, because in the fourth quarter of those, of those games, you're going to need that mental toughness to keep on going, and that's what makes a winner. After all the sweat and all the practice, it comes down to game day. The excitement is so high you can feel it. While the players loosen up, the band is warming up. And outside the stadium, another game clock tradition is taking place. Tailgating South Carolina style. Fans arrive hours early for pregame festivities. I was a fan of another team. But I have been convinced that this is the greatest school in the world, and I love it. If it ain't USC, it ain't football. Enjoyment and being together with family and friends and the tailgating. And I just like Carolina football. I like football. University of South Carolina football. For the young men who are lucky to be part of it, the feelings of pride and accomplishment run deep. And the dream of winning a national championship gets closer each year. Okay, automatic. No. All right, now you call it. The fans, the, the friends, and the national exposure are all a part of Gamecock football. For the talented student athlete, the University of South Carolina has a lot to offer. A big time football program, excellent modern facilities to rival any in the country, outstanding academics on a beautiful, spacious campus, and a man like Coach Joe Morrison. They're here, number one, to get themselves an education, number two, to take part in our athletic program. Because you want to bring the type of young man into your program that uh, you know is going to be able to contribute athletically, but more importantly, contribute in the classroom and uh, really get his degree and get his education. They'll carry away from here, along with all of their colleagues, a degree which is uh, representative of a whole university experience, not just something that happens at the Rooster and the williams Bryce Stadium. If he wants to meet a lot of great people that really care about him, I think the University of South Carolina will be the place for him. I would say come to South Carolina because we already have some great players and we, and we can use some more great players too. The Gamecock experience goes on forever. It gets in your blood and it doesn't let go. Joe Morrison is looking for a few talented young men to take up the call of the Garnet and Black. University of South Carolina Gamecock football.